You know, a lot of people walking in and out and nobody sharing nothing with me, yo. And it's my birthday. So if you got a hit, a joint, or a... <laughs> be my guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring up the rest of the poets and the singers, but right now I wanna do one special piece for all of you. It's my signature piece. That's right, I signed my name with it. Seduce me. Seduce me. Seduce me. The first time that I saw Delilah was in a small cafe outside of Seattle. She was a vision. Me being the Puerto Rican that I am, well, I got myself up, dusted myself off, and walked up to her at the bar. She was talking to her friends. And I started to tap her leg, and tap her leg, and tap her leg. I must have tapped that leg for at least a half hour. Finally, she turned to me. Pero que tú estás haciendo, brother? Porque tú me estás tocando la pierna así. What's the matter with you, puppy? Why are you touching my leg? Well, I want to kick it to you, mommy. Well, you're not going to get my attention tapping that kicker. And she reached back and pulled up her pants leg and revealed a wooden leg. Mama Cena had an artificial leg. I was intrigued. I'm an unbroken cowboy in love with the open ranges, in love with her. Small town, one-legged dance hall girl known as Delilah Blue. A centrist comet streaking across my sky mine, 22 Raven in her pocketbook. A stiletto hidden by the prosthetic of her little leg. The sun rises for me every time Delilah's eyes open. She speaks and my soul is filled. Delilah can figure out my little boy's secrets with her spirit. We met in the Cascade Mountain Desert with Bafar from being dry. Oh, man. On that first night, man, you know how it is, man, when you just meet somebody, you get on the phone. Mamay. Mami. Mamu. We had to make money to replace that leg every 50,000 miles because Delilah did a lot of walking and it was only so much. One time I hustled some guys for some pool money and they came out to the parking lot to kick my ass when suddenly from the shadows I heard, Hey! Stay away from my friend! Boom, boom, boom! It was Delilah with her 22. They ran off. I married her three days later. I mean, you just have to hook up with somebody who busts a cap for you, yo. <laughs> On our wedding night, I asked Delilah, Yo, baby, how did you lose your leg? <sighs> I grew tired of it, papi. It weighed me down. Guess he gay. Later, bathed in incense, candles, and the sticky, bittersweet smell of lovemaking, I peeked inside Delilah's soul and witnessed a lifetime of breaking and resetting. A body that God did not quite complete, one leg shorter than the other, her spine which couldn't support her height which rose above the turmoil. The final straw came at the hands of five drunken Marines who raped, burned, and tortured her. It had been a trick party. Delilah had been a working girl. Yo, man, I did not judge her, she did not judge me. I have my own set of sins to think about. She was the perfect Bonnie to my Clyde. At the hospital, the doctor said, Miss Blue, we can save your life, but maybe not the leg. Don't you know she had that leg cut off immediately? That's right, puppy. You cut away the past, you walk into the future. I cried that night hearing her story and laid the foundation for a year of twisty love. I 
encourage her wildness. She encourages my abandon. Our need to be bad, be with each other, and be in love, I'm weighing the risks. At the Metropolitan Museum of Art, as I dived into the torture of Van Gogh's face, yo, Vincent, you got it going on, man. I, I think you were Puerto Rican, but because you like all them brilliant colors, you know, and you got them short strokes, and you cut off your ear for your girlfriend, puppy, to talk out, oh, brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mommy, we gotta go, what? Mommy, we gotta go, what? Puppy, we gotta go, mom, what's up? Why we gotta go? I'm hanging out with Vincent. Delilah had robbed a tourist of $3,000 in the museum bathroom presented it to me. Here you go, puppy. Here's my dowry. Going, yo, that was some chick, yo. Past in the stresses came calling for Delilah and me during a rum and cocaine choke celebration of our first year anniversary. Go ahead, mommy, take a drink, take a hit, take a drink, take a hit, take a drink, take a hit. Hold up, I'm gonna take a hit. <laughs> on the bedroom floor. Boozy signs pouring from her lips into my ears. Ay, papi, me duele tanto. Hasta me duele la conciencia. The pain is so bad, even my conscience hurts. It was spring, and we were blind. I knew I had to act and light a pound for Delilah to escape and save myself. Delilah, who could always figure out my little boy's secrets, acted. She adjusted her leg, walked into a first federal bank alone, made a 357 withdrawal, wrote me a note, and flew back west. Bobby, thanks for the Star Spike Rodeo, but I've grown tired of it. It weighs me down. I cried that night reading that note, but I understood, because Delilah had shown me by her example, by her courage, cut away the past, you walk into the future. You see, you can't enjoy the light of reason unless you first experienced the dark night of the soul. Sixteen days I've been praying in the desert, thinking all the time of your pleasure. Mind is straight and I'm looking for a sign. That was the story of my second wife. She really existed. And the reason why the First Federal Bank is no longer up on uh, Boston Road is because of her.